Your key? It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. I didn't use it on the gate. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. That was Batman. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one, <laughs> this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Ooh, the drug is still in me. <laughs> Two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. We are. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well. You had a good run, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. <laughs> like Slim you. Slim <laughs> pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. <laughs> I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. <laughs> it's not a joke, but Lady oh Arkham's God. dangerous. Won't someone save my baby? <laughs> Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tell me. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. <laughs> I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. Yeah. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh. I'm not doing I'd that. love to see that. I'm not doing anything for you. You got that? That's unfortunate. It really is. I was looking forward to it for a moment then. I wasn't going to say I was going to take her down. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. Because I'm Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. No, there's not. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. But it was the drug. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that cobblepot punk would be... Dead. It was the drugs. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Yeah, I was pissed, but I wasn't... Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does, too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Yeah. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? No. The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing so your dad well, pop, pop. Damn. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Well, no wonder she's pissed. <laughs> Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Nothing like her. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. No. You and Vicky are both dark souls.
Dogs. 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 Now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? Does he know I'm Batman? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. A phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. I don't want to agree, but, but I think Bruce needs to. Favor between friends. He doesn't know about him, and if he's going to help me... Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm going to make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. Okay. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? <gasps> oh! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You uh -oh. can fix that right now. Uh oh, skin feels like it's itching, burning. Need to, need to get rid of it. He's gonna kill that dude. <laughs> He's saying he's a cheat. Stop! Someone, give me a sedative. Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Stop the fighting. Use the phone. I got used to phone, right? Screw the fighting, like, why does that matter to me at all? I'm gonna let this play out a little bit though, just so I see what's going down. But, yeah, why would I stop the fighting? Who cares? Let's go. Call security! Oh! Zaz murdered that dude. But that was bound to happen. Use Gordon connection, use lawyers to get out. Um, oh shit. I guess use Gordon. So I use Gordon? Because I've helped Gordon, so he can help me. Or just use Bruce Wayne's lawyers. Let's just use my lawyers. Hello? Alfred. It's you, sir. Lawyers. It's so good to hear your voice. I've been trying to contact you, but they wouldn't let me through. They told me you'd lost your mind. Contact my lawyers. You'll need to post bail, but that shouldn't be a problem. You have got to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. I have to go. Thank you, Alfred. <laughs> I think that was better than using Gordon. Oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. <laughs> Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the Veils. The Veils? Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. <laughs> oh, so he wasn't really around for very long, Joker. Because if I'm out, then he's he he's in. I'm out. And that's it, really. That's a shame. I thought he was gonna be around a bit longer, but it is obviously a teaser to them introducing him later on. I don't know. <laughs> If it'll be a next episode, or multiple stabbings, one of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Next season, maybe. I wasn't involved. Where were you, <laughs> Doctor? I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. Okay. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred! 
Get me out of here, Alfred! 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 Hug him. Oh, Alfred. Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. How? What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. No, I don't. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I'm fine. It's not Dr. safe. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Tell it. Let's go, Alfred. Let's go, Alfred. It's true, though. I was going to say I'm fine, but he's kind of not because of the drugs, but... Hey, buddy. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> that laugh. That was... The, the dude's pretty good at a joke laugh. I'll give him that. But, yeah, so I promised I'm a favor because I feel like Bruce would. Because Bruce doesn't know he's going to be Joker. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Uh-huh. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... They hate me. Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I can turn that around. So many people angry at me. Entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Pressure, Alfred. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I'll try, dude. Harvey? Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. I know. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Wow. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like Two -face you will remember that. take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. Two -face. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. She came on to me, dude. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. It was her decision. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. It's true, though. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just what happened, dude. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. Shut up, Two-Face. What I said was true, though. She can't make her own decisions. Well, what's going on here? Hi. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> but maybe I'll get a bonus for this. For what? Open the trunk. We're searching the car. And if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Do you have a warrant? I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Shit. <laughs> well, then do it, I guess. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Uh oh. Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. 
Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, the hell? or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Yeah, shut up, or you will be. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I want trouble. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this whoa, car whoa. run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Whoa, Bruce! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! Bruce! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! She recorded that. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! Fuck! But that's not what I said! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just drugs. need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Yo, he shook the whole car! It won't be a warning shot! He shook the whole car with a baseball right. bat! Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? But that's not gonna help Batman. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back That's gonna harm that man if I pay Bruce. him. Hey, your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest hey, of their keep lives. Keep back if you know what's good for pay you. Him. Out in less than 48 hours. Pay the man. Here. It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. What a dick. This isn't over. Ramming the barricade yeah, sure. wouldn't have been good. Take it up with City Hall. You know? So, ugh, I don't know. That was just a sticky situation and I didn't like it. I thought that's going to hurt Batman because they're going to be better equipped. Glad to hear you got out of Arkham. See you when you get back, Selina. Dude, the drugs. Can we get the drugs out of my system? Got some stuff we need to talk about. Ooh, are you breaking up with me? <laughs> what do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice. Throwing whoever he wants in jail. Mm -hmm. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. She's got a point. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Hey. Don't you get it, Bruce? I'm Batman. Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? It's not. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. We helped. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Mm. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Why well, are those puppy dog guys breaking my heart right now? <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey, or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. I need help. That's my car. Okay. Well, bye then. See ya. Don't even kiss me or nothing. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Well, this was brief. She's just leaving? Damn. I thought we had something, you know? She was all like relationshipy with me before in the last episode. Because I saved her that one time. So she wasn't like, this is just a one night stand. She was like into me. And then, damn, she's just gone. It's not good. It's not good at all. I need something to cure my shit. So I can actually just kick ass again. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Oh, it is. It is. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. I have to. You absolutely must get some rest. I have to do this. I have to do something. 
Don't get in my way, Al. Oh, wow. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. So aggressive, Bruce. You're I'm right. Not... You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. Make a cure. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Yes. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. Fix me. I look I'll so, make the preparations. So ill and tired. It's not good. All right, the codex is updated. Please don't be mountains of codex to go through. There's like one or two, that's fine. Okay, there's a lot. Uh, my reputation has been ruined and my name is worthless, but somehow Alfred remains dignified despite all the mudslinging. I thought my emotional core was, a bullet, was as bulletproof as they come, even though it says a bulletproof. Uh, but Alfred has shown me that he's even stronger. He was there to deliver me from my nightmare of Arkham Asylum without so much as a raised eyebrow, and I'm forever grateful. He knows I'm not nuts, that's why. My money helped him helped get him there, but now I have to admit that Gotham City has a monster in the mayor's office. He's become a distorted version of the Harvey I used to know, twisting his crusade against crime into an excuse for authoritarian tactics. He's also declared war on Bruce Wayne, sign signing the order committing me to Arkham Asylum and stealing credit for defeating the children of Arkham's plans. In his heart, he may want to save Gotham from crime, but his brutish so-called enforcement squads are only making things worse. I'll have to confront him sooner rather than later. Penguin. I can't even begin to imagine the terrible things Oswald is doing to Wayne Enterprises now that he's the CEO. For generations, my family has worked to make it a company worth admiring, and he's going to corrupt it into something horrific. More than anything, he can't be allowed to discover my secret technologies. The savage beating I gave him at the press conference should keep him distracted long enough for, him, for me to come up with a plan to deal with him. I wasn't in Arkham Asylum long, and already the city is worse than I left it. I don't know what Harvey's control of City Hall and his so-called enforcement squads mean for Gordon's abilities to do his job effectively, but I don't think it's good. If I'm right, Gordon might not be able to help me as much as I hope he would. Hoped? Hoped or hope? Hope. Um, but, and also, also, um, I didn't call him. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I mean, I guess it does, because otherwise there wouldn't have been an option, but um, I just felt like getting out with Alfred made more sense. It was like it was just Bruce Wayne trying to get out. It wasn't anything else. Nothing to do with the police. Uh, Vicky Vale, as I thought I knew her, is gone. She has ceased to exist. Her real name is Victoria Arkham, but I guess she prefers to be called Lady Arkham. She's been right there in front of me this whole time, and somehow I failed to see it. How? She manipulated me and tried to ruin me and came too close to succeeding. It was a sloppy mistake that I can't afford to let happen again, but that ends now. First thing I need to do is track down her supply of that mind-altering drug and destroy it. Then Lady Arkham. Children of Arkham leader. She's known as Lady Arkham among her followers, but now I know her real name, Victoria Arkham. Her Vicky Vale persona seems to be gone forever. I can't believe I let her into my home. I can't believe I never figured out who she was or what she was doing. But now that I know, there's nothing that will stop me from taking her and her followers down. Ever since I stopped their plot to spray the citizens of Gotham with their drug, the children of Arkham have been quiet. If I hadn't been in Arkham, I would have immediately tracked them all down, but it seems Mayor Den has taken up the fight in my absence. He'll crush them and anyone who tries to stand up to his authoritarian tactics. John Doe. My time in Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left a big impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I won't ever forget his face, or his laugh. He's like some kind of creepy circus clown. However, he did provide invaluable help in tracking down Vicky and her missing drug stash. For that, I agreed to grant him a favour. What's one favour to a man who'll never see the outside of Arkham? He damn well will, and it's going to cause a problem, but I thought the promise had to be made. It just spices up the story a little bit. Got the media feed. There is nothing. This is great. Is that, is that a glitch or is there actually nothing? I feel like that's a glitch. So, no news today, unfortunately, guys. Sorry. Drug molecule DNA sample, okay. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Mm-hmm. And then this is my DNA, my clean DNA. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Oh, shit, what? We can cure others affected by the drug. No. Great antidote. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. Oh, to I see. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. 
We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Okay, I get this, kind of. I did it. Is that the cure already? I should do it. That was so quick, Bruce. Alright, cure me. I don't want to be freaking out all the time anymore. He needs to be fixed. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. No, probably not, Alfred. Thanks. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm. Please sound better. Insta cure? Is that insta cure? It's gone. It's insta cure. I'm good. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. <laughs> so, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Yep. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. Yep. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. Yeah. She betrayed you. She's a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. No, she's evil. She was playing me the entire time. Breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Mm-hmm. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? I don't know. No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew Vicky was Lady Arkham. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. <sighs> I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Exactly. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got Gotham it. Heights. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. <laughs> I like how he just smiles. He's like, Alvin, you know I'm not going to be careful. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Stop changing it. 